Earlier this week, Android 6.0 Marshmallow was finally made available for the public to download, and with it comes a host of new features. Although they're not all visibly obvious, they're welcome changes nonetheless. I'm Cam from 9to5Google, and this is my roundup of my favourite inclusions in this year's new operating system. First up, I guess, is the most obvious, and that's the newly designed app drawer. Instead of swiping through an endless number of pages full of apps, the new default app drawer scrolls up and down. All the apps are arranged alphabetically, which makes finding them really easy, especially with the scroll bar on the side. My next favourite inclusion sort of goes along with that, and it's app suggestions and search. It's sort of tied to the app drawer, but deserves a special mention of its own. Android 6.0 can suggest apps right at the top of your app drawer based on what you use frequently, giving you the most likely options for what you're looking for. You can also search for apps using the search bar just above that, and that makes finding apps ridiculously simple. Next on my list is Now on Tap. Now Google Now is getting better all the time, and with Marshmallow it's contextually aware regardless of which app you're in. If you're in Messages or an email for instance, you press and hold the Home button to bring up Now on Tap, and it gives you information and action suggestions based on what content is in that message. You can then use that to launch web pages or maps or social network sites. Next up are a couple of tools used to make your battery life even better. The first of them is called Doze, and what this does is when your phone is in standby, it automatically drops everything that it can to conserve as much power as possible. So you can leave your phone off charge at night, even when there's hardly any battery left, and you'll still not miss your alarm in the morning. The other battery saving option is App Standby. That essentially makes sure that none of your apps that you rarely use have a disproportionate effect on your battery life. And you can see which apps are optimised for battery if you go into the settings. Which brings me nicely on to the next point. Google has made controlling app settings in general a lot easier. If you go into settings and then apps, you can see and edit in-depth controls like notifications and permissions, as well as being able to see how much battery any specific app has used since you last charged the phone. One of Android Marshmallow's other great features is the better control over permissions when you download apps. Instead of asking you for your blanket permissions of everything when you download an app from the Play Store, Marshmallow asks you for your permission on an app-by-app, function-by-function basis. If you want to change permissions later, you can go back into the settings, into apps, and you can edit which functions the apps have access to. Now, Do Not Disturb has been around for a little while now, but it's got a whole lot better with Marshmallow. First off, you can toggle it on and off just by dropping down the quick settings menu. But more importantly, you can now create bespoke rules based on calendar events or schedules. You can also set it so that if somebody's tried to call you three times within the space of 15 minutes, that that call will actually come through. Next up is the new widgets view, and this is similar to the app drawer. Like the app drawer, all the widgets are now collected and organized alphabetically in a vertical scrolling window, and they're organized and broken down by app. And lastly, there's the new Easter egg. While in Lollipop, when you access the special Easter egg, you basically played Google's version of Flappy Bird, except you were the little android robot trying to avoid getting stuck on a lollipop. This time out, it's the same, except you're trying to not get stuck on a marshmallow. It's not exactly different, but they have changed some of the gameplay, and it is a fun distraction if you're bored. So those are some of my favourite new inclusions in Android 6.0. Let me know what yours are in the comments below, or tweet me. I'm at Cam Bunton. I'll see you again soon. <laughs>